So right now, as we speak, we have 3,600 workers on the ground in the impacted area, and the vast majority of them are volunteers, and our volunteers are just amazing. They pack up their things, and they leave their friends and family, and they work seven days a week, 12-hour shifts. We couldn't do it without them. There's still about 8,200 people living in shelters, in 92 different shelters. And so right now we're all about sheltering, feeding, and providing comfort. And we've already served about uh, a quarter of a million meals and snacks. So um, that's where we are in the, on the response so far. But as the floodwaters start receding, we'll be fanning out into the communities when people start returning to their homes serving hot meals um, and we'll be at that for a, for a long time. The challenges are all about accessibility and also about communications. Um, and the roads um, for a long time weren't accessible and we we're really fortunate to be partnering with state government. They helped us get the National Guard to bring people and supplies into the impacted area. And um, we also even got helicopters to bring people in as well.